All right, hey guys, we're back in the dark and ominous hollow root keep. Our final challenge for Missing Link, a completely original dungeon with uh, some very new challenges and a completely original layout. Uh, we will have to navigate it. It's not that long, but there are some twists and turns to be had. First, we're gonna go in this room with the really cool Skultula wood thing. You see a key there. There's a there's a locked door behind us too. The first time I played this, I was blown away that they created something this cool. The the concept of original dungeons in like Zelda hacks has come a long way, and this one is just a really good example of how I didn't even know that was there. You might ask, how did I not know that was there? Well, ah, okay. I don't actually need to do that. We can just walk over here, step over this way, and the reason it gave us bomb chews is showing that the Skeltula has two, well, you can't see it from here, but, you know, I'm really good at bomb chew bowling, as we know, and the Skeltula uh, on the wall has two eyes. No, 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 that's, that's the wrong, that's the wrong way. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna bomb this thing. Mm. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna try this side because technically it's like right there. Go up. Mm. Okay, this might take me a minute. Maybe I'll have to come back to uh, to me doing this because we all know this is gonna be the most challenging part for me, which is why I came here first. know where that one went. If one of them happens to hit the right thing, then I consider that a win. That is the floor. That is the floor. See, the thing is, I know you can hit it from down here, so I don't really like... There, I got one. That's the, uh, the one over there. I think it wants us to go up on the side and to do it from there, which I may do for the other one, but that drops these, which allows us to get to that door, but we don't have a key right now. So let me let me try to play by its game. We can just walk out the door and walk back in and get more if we need to. Really awkward angle like supremely awkward like I don't really get it like I get the idea of what they want us to do but it's like not not gonna do it man it's not gonna not gonna work so we're just gonna have to do it this way a little bit further probably right here up, oh, got glossed in the curve again. Okay, we're gonna let you go. Can I walk through here? No, it's a it's a wall. Okay, that keeps catching me. That one might do. It. No, no, you won't. At this point, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna skip to when this is done. At this point. There. Okay, well, as soon as I say that. Alright, so that's done. We don't have to hit them again. We have done the secret in this room. So... We're gonna go through here, get more bomb chews, because this game does not have any sort of ranged weapon. So that will take out both of those. There's nothing back there. Basically, just climb up here. And get ready for spooky time, because... The demon has transformed me into this state. I saw him taking fair notes about everything that was happening to our bodies. He used some sort of magic to do all this. He kept rambling on about how he needs to capture all the fairies in Hyrule. He used them to perform some sort of ritual. I found this key earlier. Take it. I can't do much with it in my current form, but maybe it'll help you. Okay, we got a small key. Alright, so that bomb chew bowling is theoretically the hardest thing we'll have to do in this dungeon. Because, you know me. 
It's not a bowler. Like, real life, you could take me bowling, and I would get a bajillion butter balls. I'm just terrible. Like, just awful. But, we need bomb juice. It's nice to get bomb juice as a drop. Like, you think a bomb juice is so special. So it's really nice when they're a drop like that. Um... You know, to be honest... I like jumping in holes. But what I was gonna say is, to be honest, this room is actually kind of useless. And I forgot that this is the room it goes to. As we jump over here... And there's this switch. And this switch, I'll show you what it'll do. Because it will basically put the uh, the red down, that's a red rupee, and put the blue up. Now, this is good. We want this. Because so much of this dungeon relies on that. However... Well, great. However, it's not super good for this room, which means we just wasted a key and now I'm annoyed. But I'm going to show you everything in this dungeon anyway, so we're, we're showing that and I'm showing why that room isn't going to be that useful. Because we don't even really need to hit that. Do I have Deku Nuts? Oh no, I don't. Uh, I actually want Deku Nuts, I think, because going to be some fights. Some fights that I'm going to want Deku Nuts. So I only give one. Oh, he has three. Okay, cool. Alright, I got it now. Okay, now this is the next place we want to go. Alright, so you see this room? You see how there's switches here? So you know how I was just talking about how we didn't want to hit the switch in there? If we hit the switch in there and come in here, this would be up and we couldn't even come in this room. Now, it's theoretically useful later, because you don't have to do some jank. So we could we could just go in there. But right now, we're going to go in here. To avoid jank. But no, the jank, the jank! Walk up here like we own the place. And look, another terrifying Spider-Man. I wonder if they know Lucina. A demon deep inside this place. He caught everyone in our village and used us for his evil experiments. He said he wants to create the ultimate monster. Please help my buddies and I. Take this key. Maybe it'll free us. <laughs> also, you can hit them. Beep! Relatable. Okay. Uh, there is actually another key you can get in this room. And we'll be doing that now. Because that's just... Oh, we gotta go back in here first. In this room, there's this current. Current events, am I right? It'll pull you back in there, which means you can't swim down the river to get there. You have to get... You have to come from up here. Alright. And the way to get back up is to swing that there. And that drops this down. And we can swing it back. Amazing that it actually goes that far, because it disappears at a certain point. Alright, now, we're going to bomb chew. And we're going to jump back. And the bomb chew is going to blow that up. Now, we can't get anywhere right now. But with those up, we can go back into this room again. Decent amount of backtracking, but it's fine. Ow, I got a hit. Ah. My sword beams. My beams. My treats. My sweets. Okay, but most importantly, with our mega boost, we can jump up here onto these. Hey, give me give me in your nuts. Don't tell that one guy. Alright. Go here, get more bomb chews. Because of these lads. One will kill both of them again, and there's another Skeltula person who was forcibly transformed over here. The demon experimented us with the goal of absorbing the fairy's power, transforming himself. Yeah, because the plot here was something is kidnapping all the fairies in the forest while Link is trying to look for Navi. And so this is the ultimate, like, where where everything has led, basically. I have to wonder if the Skeltulas 
they intended for them to be like Kokiri, who were caught by the demon, and not just like. Although I guess they said village, and the Kokiri don't tend to live in villages. They have their like secluded forest town. I wouldn't exactly. I mean, they could call it Kokiri Village, but I wouldn't. All right. So now we want to go back down. Use the beam again. We can leave. Get out of here. We don't actually have to come back to this room for anything. Because now we have two keys. <laughs> ah, that's a two knives. Two keys. Alright. So, that was down. So now what we can do is we can go in here. So I'm actually going to use the room for its intended purpose. I did say it was useless because you what you could do is you could put the bomb chew down and then, and I've seen people do it, where you just put the bomb chew down and jump before the door becomes blocked, which, you know, theoretically blocks that room off for you if you don't find this room, but if you don't find this room, you're not going to finish the dungeon anyway. So we're just, uh, we're just going to keep on keeping on here. Now, I don't think this part will be very low. I don't know why I picked that up. We don't need money. This is the it. This is this is the culmination of all of our efforts. We're already done in this part of this room. We will be back, but not for um not for a while. Hey, stop it. Yeah. The one thing about this is if you don't have your sword beam, you have no ranged attack. Okay, so we're going to go in here now. We have multiple keys, and we immediately get pulled up to this room. We're going to get a heart in case of need sword beam, which we will because, hello, Skultula, and bam, Skultula dead. Skultula dead. Give us some syrup. And sword beam. Oh, nope, it doesn't. It gets blocked. Okay. We're going to go counterclockwise in this room. And bunny our way over. It's in here. Mm, okay, can't get to that. This is just. Hey, see the. This shows you the switches. If I, if you didn't already know they were there, that is very creepy looking. Like if I was a kid, I would find that room terrifying. I already didn't like. Well, no, these Skulltulas are fine because they're kind of goofy looking. You know what the really terrifying Skulltulas are? The ones in Twilight Princess. So this is up now because we hit that switch. If you haven't hit the switch to turn the blues up, it will not be up and you will not be able to progress that way. That's why we needed to have that done before we came up here. In this room, we have another mystery. So there's more Deku Babas. And we just, I just, I just want to get nuts, because you never know. You can never have enough thick nuts. Alright, so there's this block. And if we pull this block, the block stops here. I'm going to actually... I'll, I'll show you. We're going to, we're going to pull, we're going to pull the block. So I'll show you why this, we just can't do anything with it right now. Because there's a lip. And now the block is stuck. And we can't jump up on it. I'll show you. No climb, no. And you see there's grass there we can grab. Vines, leaves from the vine. Falling so slow. All right, so these rooms are not useful to us right now. The one that we do need to go to is the one that we can get to because the blue is raised. Over we go. I love the bunny hood in this game. It's so fast. Eh, I could always use a Deku Stick. There's, like, nothing to use Deku Sticks for. But, you know, you can always use them. I guess. Okay, and down here... Fuck out of here. I have a heart instead of a bomb choose? No, because... No, and the reason is... Creep over with the bunny hood. There's a switch right there. And we hit that, and that opens that door. We're just gonna hop right back. Go in here. Kill that. If I could get a uh, heart, that would be nice. That is locked. 
we're gonna go counterclockwise again. There. <laughs> Just because I don't have sword beams. Okay. Because I don't have sword beams, we just kind of have to eat it. And we just... But I, I really like this game. It's short. It, it does a lot of cool things. Like, it experiments in a lot of ways that I think are fun. And it uses the Majora's Mask, like, upgrades to the engine, so it feels better. And it just is smooth. Definitely worth a play, because it takes, like, two hours if you know where everything is, which I don't always. You can jump. So this is where we were right before. Remember where I showed you the Skultula? This is the those platforms above us we couldn't get to, but now we can. Dungeon map. I don't know how long this will be. This will either be one part or two parts, depending on, depending on if I feel there's a good point to break it up. Because otherwise we could just do the whole thing in one run, because we're already, I would say, halfway done with the dungeon. And we don't even have the dungeon item. So, you know. So that was clockwise, so we're gonna go that way. Yeah, because that should be the key door. Yes, it is. Okay. In here. And this is why I wanted nuts. Mr. Dickman's thick nuts. Uh, okay. It's my old nemesis from the randomizer, Stalpos. Oh, okay. Here, come up here. I'll be right back. Right, here we are with Delphos again. This time, I'm ready for it. There, got him. That time, I was patient and dodged. I hate Stalphos. Sometimes they make me feel so dumb. You make me feel so dumb. All right. Well, all of that was not for the dungeon item, but another small key. So, woohoo! Ah, crap. Well, can't win them all. Alright, put the bunny hood back on because it gives us super speed. Super, super duper speed. And now we can finally, despite all my waffling, waffles. Oh man, that'd be really nice. Alright, and in here, there's a hallway. Cool. And we're stuck. But there's a chest! Lest my eyes deceive me. Take some tea real quick. Yeah, we got the magic hourglass. On the select item subscreen, you can set it to blah blah blah. Press C to travel a few seconds back in time. Are you ready for one of the coolest custom items I've ever seen? Okay, so we do, we go do stuff, we can then use it, and go back a few seconds in time. Here we are back to when we open the chest. It is amazing. Now, here we gotta jump in this hole, see? And the door opens, and we use that, now we're back up here. It is incredible. How cool that is. And we just leave. Now we can go back in time. Like, now they're gonna be biting the dust. All right, so we have just about everything we need. Except, where do we go? Well, that's the wrong way. That is not where we go. I am a fool. So the, that one is mid, uh, I think it, I wish I had the compass, but they give you the compass after it stops mattering. Nope, that's the, that's the Stealthos room. I've turned around, very, very smart, to 
promise. Uh, ooh, uh. Okay, this Davos was across from the entrance, so we're this way. Oh, it's the torches. They tell you, don't they? Uh, okay. Cool, okay. So now, we go back in this room. We find us the elevator. The elevator boss. The real boss. But first... Remember this block? Well, I sure do. Pull the block. We honestly don't need to pull it all the way. Puts us back where we were when we were pulling the block. So now we can go in here. Doltala, watch out and don't touch it. All right. Ouch. Well, I didn't want to get damaged, but you know, sometimes, sometimes these things just happen. So, okay. Now we pulled the block. It's just, it's a really cool way to do a mechanic like that. And I think they executed it really well. Well, that might be why you want to pull it all the way. Confirmed. That is why you want to pull it all the way. Okay. So we're here. Now we're going to pull it all the way because you need it to jump. Which is just... Well, it makes sense in the moment. And now get us behind it. And back up we go. Now we can go all the way across and get the boss key. Alright. Right up here. Right there we go. No trouble at all. None at all. Nothing at all. And boss key. Now we can get inside the chamber where the boss lurks. Evil, evil bad. You know, now I am stupid realizing that this whole time the torch is with a thing that says, This is the exit room. Okay, so we're gonna take this really, really fast elevator back down. Now, use the time thing to fall down a hole. Majora's Mask looking hole. Pretty sure, yeah, there's a chest over here. It's a compass, entirely too late. You can use this to get back up if you want. But we don't really have a reason to. Now for another mini-boss. Everyone's favorite enemy. Oh god. It's like a mega one, too. It's very large. Uh. Alright, there's, there's a surprising number of them. Hey, stop. Stop, get off me. Uh oh, my controller fucked up. Stop it! Get off of me! Stop it! Stop it! I hate these things! <sighs> stop! Stop sucking my power! They're stealing my powers! Alright. I think there's only the one left. Oh my god. Not that it matters, because I can't catch him. Stop it! Stop sucking me! Do you see this angle? Do you see it? 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Go away, please. Stop hitting me! Stop it! Stop growing in size! Stop doing that! Just, I just want to finish! I hate this! So fucking much! Like, leave me alone! Fucking damn it. I ain't having to always cut shit because I'm fucking terrible! Ugh. Okay, Whew. round two with the floor master. And by round two, I mean actually round several, because this thing. Oh, oh man. Nope, stop! Get off of me! Up, up! I hate floor masters! I hate floor masters! I hate floor masters! I hate floor masters! Did you guys know that I cannot stand floor masters? And okay, there's one. There's only one. There's only only one. I don't. I, I don't. I don't know. There's, there's only one. Okay. No. 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 Don't grow. Okay. Oh. Oh my God. Okay. That was that. That okay. That boss. That that mini boss brought out the worst in me for sure. I don't know what parts to leave in, because there's... Oh, oh boy, that was... Okay, so that gets us a small key. That is harder than the actual boss of the actual dungeon. That is... A Giga Floor Master as Young Link is just... Just no. Just, just no. Just a, again, torches show us the exit. <sighs> that was, that was something. I gotta, I gotta cool it from that one. Um, okay, do I still have bomb chews or did I use them all? No, okay, I still have bomb chews. Um, actually, how we're going to do this is we're going to, wait, uh, 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 Well, that actually... I think this relies on bomb chews, but I'm not sure. Well, that was cool. That's not how you're supposed to do that, but that worked. Because <laughs> this is another, uh, another time puzzle where you use the hourglass. But, okay, this room... Gets us more Deku nuts because apparently I need Deku nuts to to help me as a kind of crutch, deck crutch. Okay, I'm gonna hit this, and that puts that down. But if we go over here and then we hit this again, we can then use the hourglass to go right back. Eh, uh, that didn't quite work. Okay, we're gonna run through. We're gonna go... Go up this way. Okay. And now... We're gonna go hit this. 
and then hourglass our way right back. And that actually worked, unlike the other one. And there's a chest there. That chest doesn't have anything important in it. It's rupees, as far as I know. So, now we can go over here. Jump down, which I know, foolish. And then we're going to, whoop, hourglass our way right back up to the top. It is very cool. I am such a big fan of this mechanic in general and the fact that they got to implement it in such a cool way. All right, one more guy. The demon's transformation went wrong. Some fairies escaped deep into the woods. Maybe your friend did too. Well, what are you waiting for? Take this key and stop him. All right, ow, stop it. Don't hit me. Okay, and we got the key. So, that's pretty much it. We already fought the hardest thing in here, the Floor Master. Ugh. Of course, I say that now. But we're, we're gonna... We're gonna hope for the best. Because this has been... Quite a journey. This has been... I, I really wanted to show you guys this because I... It's short. I thought it was so cool. They implemented such interesting mechanics and for no reason to key doors. Those were the days. All right, and there is our goal. And bomb shoes. I was hoping for a fairy of some kind, but I don't think there's Wait, there wouldn't there wouldn't be fairies because that's the whole point of the story. Okay. Unless Nope, bomb shoes. Okay. We're not going to really need that, but all right, let's do it. Let's go fight the boss. Boss. Big scary pit. And I guess that's all we have to do is jump down the pit. Water. I wanted a peanut. Water can buy many peanuts. And we can't use the bunny hood in here, fun fact. Ow. Ow. And I landed on the wall. By the way, the wall hurts you. The fairies! I think it's very scary. If I was a child, I would hate that thing. Okay, fairy fueled. Okay, so the way that this boss works is he takes up this whole room with his big ass. And we have to watch the walls because the walls are covered in thorns and they're gonna hurt us. And now, that allows us to go back and hit his butt. Jump back before he spins, and rinse repeat. A really cool boss that I think super utilizes the uh, dungeon mechanic very cool. Like in a very cool way. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, we missed that one. Up, oh, up, oh, he got another pot shot at us. Hate when he does that. We basically want to keep our eye on him. More or less, this is the fight, but he will get some more mechanics. Yeah, if you hit him once, it'll stun him. So we can... If you hit him once, you can stun him, so you just have to get that one shot in when you warp that will let you uh, expose his weakness. But, you know, very cool, very awesome custom boss. Oh, nope, nope. We, we missed our opportunity for that. Oh, no. Okay. He's gonna follow us again. We need him to move. We need him to shuffle around. And stop and whoop. No, we, we missed it. I, I, I keep stopping when I really should not. And that's really what's getting me. There we go. Got him. Okay, now he's going to phase two. The last phase. The secondistest of phases. Yeah, there's his new mechanic. He has beams. We love beams, don't we?
Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Alright, I'm gonna go look for some, uh, some hearts. Don't hit the wall, the wall will hurt you. Gonna keep these hearts. I built this city on rock and roll. Warp around. Yeah, I got him. This might be it. Yeah, we got him. And that's it. That's the final boss. See, the, the floor master was way more challenging. I probably didn't include all my fights with the floor master, but, you know, that's not important. What was important is the really cool boss and the way that it implemented the time warping mechanic. Like, it was just, I really loved it. But now we defeated the demon. All the fairies should be free. Link gets Epona and rides off. Will he find Navi or something else? I guess we'll see one day. But it was just, you know, a nice, nice little adventure. And I really want to see more from the people that made this, because, like I said, the, uh, like, Romag creators have made a lot of strides lately in creating new Ocarina of Time Majora's Mask-like content, like items. There's one that's an Ocarina of Time ROM hack that has, like, I think three dungeons in it, and they created a bunch of custom items, including one that lets Link jump. Like, do like a double jump, which is very cool, and they implement that in a number of dungeon puzzles, which I thought was neat. <laughs> so, the cutscenes are also like, and 10 years ago, or even like 8 years ago, 7 8 years ago, something like this would have been impossible. For the longest time, the best Ocarina of Time ROM hack that existed was Zelda's Birthday. And that's only because it was the only one. Like, look at this thing. Like, these are these are fans doing these camera angles. The music was fan composed. Um, it's all just. This is the kind of thing that I really love. But all the fairies are back. So the Kokiri are happy again. And I hope you guys enjoyed this short adventure. I mean, four parts, I'm pretty sure it'll be four parts. The last one might be longer than normal, but there's also going to be a few cuts because of floor master fights, getting lost a little bit when I didn't need to. But it's, you know, the uh, next project is going to be very different. It's not going to be a ROM hack or a fan work. It's going to be something official, something relatively recent, because now I have the ability to record HDMI, like, capture HDMI so I can actually play modern games and there's one that while a recent game I love very much and it's from a series that I've already done and you'll probably be like oh wow okay but it's just something that I want to start because I have a lot to say about it and it'd be very cool and Saria disappears Link is always losing friends in these outros and that was The Legend of Zelda Missing Link by Kaze Emanuar and Zell. Thank you guys for joining me, and I will see you again very soon for the next adventure.